Good morning and happy Friday. Thank you for tuning in. Rose Ward, StampersDelight.com, independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from New York. Hop on, tell me where you're from, and we will get started. So just waiting to see who comes on. Hopefully the internet holds out. I will mention that it's been a horrible week for the internets. Uh, not just mine, my work computer too. So I know it's not just my internet. So if I get stuck, I will hop back on. Okay, so let's see who's on with me. And it's just spinning right now. So hope there we go. Good morning, Samantha. Good morning, Patricia. Okay, so I know I am live. So again, I hope you're all having a great Friday, and I hope you have a great weekend. So grab your coffee, grab your tea, and come stamp with me. So for today, I couldn't wait to play with this stamp set. I am going to flip the camera so that I can show you. Oh, before I do that, I wanted to remind you that as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you can preview the new holiday catalog, which is now called the mini catalog. And that actually goes live on August 1st, but as a demonstrator, we can preview that now. So if you'd like to get a jump on that, just come and join my team. I'd love to have you on my team. Join the fun. And you can actually pre-order from that on July 1st. So contact me at stampersdelight.com, and I'll tell you how to get started. You have me to help you. I have a group um, Facebook page. I have one-on-one -on -one coaching. You got nothing to lose. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so for this month, if you're using my host code and placing an order, you want to use this host code. If it's $150, $149, let's say, or less. If it's $150 or more, don't use the host code because you want to get the hostess rewards benefits. And remember, there's only a few days left to get that extra $25 in free product through Stampin' Up! That ends June 30th, so get those orders into me, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, also ending uh, June 30th is that great sign-up special. Uh, join, join my team, get the starter kit, and get a free extra bundle of your choice. Doesn't matter the price. So you definitely want to go to Stampers Delight, order, and or join my team. Okay, so... For today, what I decided to work with, and I absolutely love this and fell in love with it as soon as I saw it, was nothing's better than chalk. Nothing's better than coffee, cookies, cocktails, and chocolate. You got that right. What a great, cute set. We had a coffee set a few years ago. I still have it. I won't give that one up. But this one is just so adorable. It can be found on page 91 of your catalog. Here are the dies that go with that. Good morning, Patty. Good morning, Donna. Good morning, Meg. I was thinking about you the other day. I haven't seen you on here. Good morning, Vicki. So here's the um, dies to this. And oh my gosh, it's such a cute set. So again, that's on page 91. And that is a bundle. So you automatically save 10% when you buy the bundle. Okay. And uh, this is Connie Stewart's million dollar stamp set. I know somebody asked me the other day which one was my million dollar stamp set. Not quite there yet. Give me another year, okay? <laughs> Maybe two. <laughs> Getting there. Okay, so let's take a look at the cards that I've done with this, okay? Yes, TGIF is right, and I have a half a day on Fridays for the summer, so I'm a happy camper. So this is the first one I did, and I'll bring it in close this is kind of uh, what I would call a simple stamped card. Today's plan, consume cookies. And all I did was use the uh, cookie cookie there. Oh, I just thought of something. Cookie Monster. You can make a card make Cookie Monster. Okay, and I used the, our, our faux suede ribbon. And, of course, this is early espresso, soft suede, and then crumb cake. Just thought it looked like chocolate chip cookies. And then inside it says, and I'm pretty sure... Tomorrow will be too. So the sayings are just adorable. Okay, so that's kind of my sweet and simple stamped card. Then I use the dies for the coffee, cocktails, cookies, and chocolate. And I did this one. Again, today's plan, consume cocktails, coffee, cookies, and chocolate. I mean, how stinking cute, right? And this just reminds me of truffles. This is the new uh, magenta 
with the early espresso. Kind of reminds me of like raspberry uh, truffles or raspberry chocolates. Oh, I know, France. I just love this set, too. And, of course, there's my cocktail for the afternoon. <laughs> and then, of course, the inside. Okay, then I got this really great idea with the cookies. Okay, had cookies on my mind, I guess. To use our new velveteen paper. Now, you can't see this, but this is velveteen paper. I want to call it suede paper, but it's velveteen paper, and it's got a nice brushed feeling to it. And I used the, I stamped right on that with the early espresso, and then I cut them out, and I made some little cookies. Of course, I just stamped the background. Cookies make, cookies, you make me, uh, but yeah, I can't even read this morning. Cookies, you make everything better. I mean, isn't that the truth? Because adulting is hard. I love that one. That's great, right? And so the nice little suede cookies or velveteen cookies. The next one I did, um, I used, if you watched um, the video, the live on the diagonal cut, that was my YouTube video. Um on Monday night and I did have some issues with YouTube kicking me off I'm not sure if it was that or the internet for some reason this summer the internet does uh, mess up okay and it's not just my internet here because my work computer has too but anyway in order to see how to do this card go back to that YouTube video which of course I shared on Facebook okay so here's the envelope that I used and the paper that I'm using is on page 149 and that's uh playing with patterns let me just bring it in here because th this goes so great with this stamp set because it's just a fun kind of pattern okay so it's playing with patterns and just fun 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 designer series paper so here's my diagonal cut with the coffee a day without coffee is like, um, just kidding, I have no idea. <laughs> and I don't. And with that said, I'm going to grab a sip of my coffee before it gets cold. So that's my diagonal cut. <clears throat> Definitely watch how to do that because it is so stinking cute and easy. Okay, so that's my next card. Then I started looking at the cookies and thought, how about Angry Pac-Man? I mean, I know a Pac-Man has a different kind of uh, cut there, but I just thought it looked like Pac-Man. <laughs> Maybe a little angry one. Just a note. So that's just a note card. Hi, Jean. Hi, Debbie. All right. The next one I'm going to show you and actually show you how to do is a stair-step card. And this one says in copper love you more than chocolate how do i do the middle it's the let me show you the middle okay so let me bring this one back in meg meg wanted to know how to do this megan okay so there's it's this die okay it's the cookie die it's just the die you see it gives it a little face okay Good morning, Janice. Okay, so this is stair step card. I used our suede, um, faux suede ribbon again. I used our in color designer series paper. It just looked like it went with that. Love you more than chocolate. I'm going to flip the camera for a minute so you can see this. So this is a stair step card. So it would sit up here like this. Okay. All right, and then inside. That's a stretch. Not sure what you mean, Patty. Okay. So that's that. Now let me bring it back down. Okay, so this is the stair step card. It sits up like this. And we are going to, I am going to show you how to do that. Okay. I'm going to bring one more in to show you what it looks like with that playing with patterns. Love you more than coffee. Good morning, Stacy. And again, whoop, flip it one more time so you can see the stair step cards setting upright. And then just flip it up. 
and I used the um, stamp set. I don't have it over here. I guess not. A lovely you for the inside. Cherished friend. Yes, definitely share my videos. Thank you so much. Okay. So that's love you more than coffee. Love you more than chocolate. He's looking for cookies. That's why he's angry. That's right. That's right. That's good, Meg. Okay, so there's the stair step cards. All right, so let me show you how I did that. Remember, there'll be still shots back on here on Facebook and my blog, stampersdelight.com. Okay, so what I'm going to do is bring in some paper here. And hopefully I didn't lose all my pieces because I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, so you're going to start with uh, four and a quarter by 11 piece of cardstock. Okay, so let's cut down the middle. This is super, super easy. You're going to love it. I will put the dimensions on later. Okay, so it's four and a quarter by 11. Then what you're going to do is you're going to bring in your paper trimmer and the scoring blade. Put my scoring blade up there. I'm going to score it at four inches. Oh, I already messed it up. I was looking at the de designer series paper. Four and a half. Sorry about that. Let me just grab another piece of paper. That's what happens when I read comments as I'm trying to do my card. Well, that's okay because now you'll see it right from the get-go. Okay, so we're going to cut this at four and a quarter. Okay. Use that for something else. And I am going to score it at four and a half. Bring out my arm here. Move it to the nine inch. Move it to the 10 inch. So you're scoring at four and a half, nine inches and 10 inches. And that is it. That is what you need for that piece of card. I will need my paper trimmer for a minute after that. Okay, so then you're just going to fold this back and these fold up and this folds down. And that's pretty easy when you look at the card, you'll know. You want to give it a really good burnishing because you want that card to stand upright like that. Okay. Thank you, Valerie. Okay. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to bring in a piece of designer series paper. And again, I'm using the playing with patterns and that's six by six, which is perfect for this card. This designer series paper, okay, you're going to cut at four. That's where I got the four from. Four by four and a quarter. And then this little piece here is going to actually be your piece here there this is a one inch mark so you just want to take that little piece that's left and one little notch before the one inch just cut that okay you actually end up with two of them but we need that one okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring that piece in i'm going to bring in some sheer ribbon this is our pool party sheer ribbon. Yes, it is hot in New York, and I love every minute of it, Megan. You will never hear me complain about the heat. Because if you're a New Yorker, you know what happens after the heat, the snow. Okay, so I'm just wrapping a nice thin piece of uh, ribbon right there. All right, and then I'm going to take it and place that right on my card so I'm gonna put that right here and that just gives it a little whoop. let me just twist that around I want it the other way okay whoop. let me just fix that so it goes the right way okay and that fits right in here You see, I have a little bit of edge on either side, okay? And that's going to go up there. 
This one inch piece, or a little smidge smaller than one inch, you're just gonna drag that right there. Loving the new seal, now that I've gotten the hang of it. And this is gonna go right here. I don't try to match it up. You don't have to. You can if you want. And that's gonna go right there. And that's part of the card. Oh, thank you, yes. Hi, Rose. Thank you. Yes, it's been floating in the pool a lot. Okay, so we've got that. Now, I've already cut these pieces out, and I have. Hopefully, I didn't lose any. This is with the uh, Calypso Coral. Love you more than cocktails. Okay, so let's poke these little things out. Of course, I like to show you a card that's a little bit different than what I just showed you. This is such a fun set. I love this. I'm sure I'll be using it with my coffee candles. Anybody that doesn't know what I'm talking about with that, if you go back to one of my like first videos, I get these great little, they look like latte candles at the dollar store. And I made a bunch of those up for gifts and for craft fair. I'll have to, I'll have to make one and, and post it. Okay. So I'm going to use my detailed glue for this. Okay, so I am flipping these over. And I washed my silicone mat, so of course I don't have it here. So okay, I'll be careful. I'm using the detailed glue for this because even the Tombow, I find, is a little too, comes out a little too thick. Okay, so I'm just dotting. And I can do this real quick on all of them and then put the cap on here really fast because if you don't, it does clog it up and you won't be able to get it back in there. So you have, it's a little forgiving. You have a few minutes to get that on there. Just dot it, okay, so it doesn't squish out. I love my terminology. Okay, so these are all the little words from the dies, which I've already cut out. Okay. And then you want to make sure that you close this up right away. Okay. So, first I'm going to put the love. The thing I like about this is it can be crooked. It doesn't have to be straight. It kind of looks better off-centered. Love, let's see, you. More. Van. Okay, the cocktails is going to go right here. Love you more than cocktails. Okay, so love you more than cocktails, right? Yes, I have been in the sun. I've been out in my pool whenever I get a chance. Now I'm going to bring in this little piece of glimmer paper that I had left over, and I just cut a two inch circle. And I am actually going to put that right here. You want to make sure you don't get any glue on the back, so it, back here, okay? If you do, and this brought up a good point, Janice um, had a problem with that. So there's a couple of things you can do. Stampin' Up! used to have these erasers, and but we don't sell them anymore. Um, you could try a pencil eraser, but see, it makes it a little dark if it's not new. I just rub it with my finger. Okay, so if you don't have our adhesive remover that we used to sell, just keep rubbing that. And it will come off, okay? If anybody else has any ideas how to get that off, just share them. Okay, so just burnish that a little bit. When I burnish it after starting to do that, I just flip it around, okay? All right, so let me bring in my little cocktail. Now, I know I use blends a lot. For those of you that don't have blends, I'm going to show you. Just you, you can use your regular markers to color this. Now, I am going to color this inside. It's going to be like a, a blue um, daiquiri. When I see anything blue like this, I think of back when I was a teenager because we could drink back then at 18 we used to dr drink these things called blue whales anybody remember them okay so we're going to put that that's pool party i'm going to take the <clears throat> smoky slate for the glass i'm going to take daffodil delight now these are our regular markers 
You can use our pencils too, or our blends. And Poppy Parade. Hi, Karen. So I'm gonna use the other side of this. And that's all well, that's all there is to it. I'm gonna put this right here. So I'm gonna use my seal for that. You could also use dimensionals if you want to pop it up. Okay. Then what I'm gonna do is I am going to bring in another piece of ribbon. And I'm gonna make this kind of long because I want to tie it. <clears throat> And I'm going to bring in a strip here, and I'm going to use our new lovely label punch there. And I'm just going to make a little tag. I'm just going to snip this off. I just want a little tag, okay, just like that. Now, I do have somewhere on the table a punch that gives me a little hole. If you don't, you can actually just use your pick, uh, take your pick tool or your old paper piercing. Okay, I'm just making a little hole here. <clears throat> I'm gonna take this little flower that's in the stamp set. Very tiny. I'm going to take my Coastal Cabana and just make a little cute tag for it. Okay. Put that right there because I need that. I'm going to bring in our gold sprinkle baby powder or cornstarch. If you have embossing, buddy, put it on the seal. Great. Thanks, Carol. That's why I like asking people for their ideas because we all have our own remedies. Okay, so this I'm going to tie in a knot. Remember I showed you how to tie it in a knot so it doesn't fray while you're using it. And just put it through that hole. Hopefully I made that hole big enough to get that little knot through. There we go. All right. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to put that aside for a minute. So now I'm going to grab this and let's see, I'll tie it like this first. Then I'm gonna bring in that little tag. I hope you can see me. I'll move that down for a minute. I'm gonna bring in this little tag. I want that to hang down just a tad, so I'm not gonna tie that real tight yet. Tie that in a knot. I am going to trim this off, but kind of long, because then I want those little frayed edges. Okay, move that up and out of the way. And then I'm going to go ahead and tie this in a small bow. Once I have that the way I want it, then I'll trim everything. Oop, got my arm in the ink pad, of course. The nice thing about this um, sheer ribbon is it looks good no matter what. So anybody that says they can't tie bows, this is your go-to ribbon. Okay, and then I'm just going to trim off a little bit of that. So now I have this cute little tag here. And I can move it so that I can see my words. And if you want, you can trim that tail a little bit more. so it Even if it goes over the words, you can it's sheer so you can see it. Okay, so there's a nice little tag. <laughs> well, I, you know what? I do have a good tan, but I think the camera makes me look darker. Trust me, it's not that dark. <laughs> well, I'm, it's tan, but <laughs> I think the camera adds a little bit to it. Okay, then I'm going to bring in this piece of white. And this is just a four by four. Okay, I am going to bring in, I'm using the lovely, uh, lovely you that goes with that punch. And it says, love you more than cocktails. You're my person. I just thought that was cute and went together so well. So you're my person. Cute birthday card or just thinking of you card. Then I'm going to bring in that little cocktail. 
There we go. And then I am going to just seal that down. And that goes on the inside right here. And that's it. That's a cute little stair step card. Love you more than cocktails. Oh, no, it's not. You know what else we need? Some bling. So let's bring in our Artistry Blooms sequins. And there's different colors here. This one is more like a, a Calypso Coral. But they are a hologram is what I would call it. Okay, and I'm just going to put one down here. Add a little bling to it. And there you go. Isn't that adorable? Okay, so that is actually all I had to show you today. I could have done more, but today I'm on the early shift. Oh, one more thing. that When you use that 6x6 six six piece of paper, it does the whole card. But you do have a strip left for your envelope. So let's do the envelope. So that we have a matching envelope. The other thing I wanted to mention, if you did the uh, sweet and simple June class, everybody should have got theirs in the mail already and got the tutorial and the kits. I am announcing right now what my sweet and simple July class will be. That's an online class. You get five projects to do, the stamp set, and I'm just going to put a little here through me, and the video, the tutorial. Okay, and we're going to be using Whiskey Business for, I figured we'd do uh, masculine cards for July. So I will be printing more information and getting that out to you, but I wanted to tell you what stamp set we would be using. So basically for this sweet and simple class, you place, you, you send the um, class payment to me, and I send you out the kits for five cards and the stamp set and the tutorial. And for July, it will be masculine cards. Although, I don't know, I may, they may not all be masculine. Women drink whiskey, too, right? Okay, love you more than cocktails. So let me bring in the cards again. And then when I get off, I will do the still shot. So there's love you more than cocktails. Love you more than chocolate. That one might be a little hard to see because it's in the glitter paper. Love you more than coffee. This one's nice and bright. That's why I like the playing with patterns. We got our angry Pac-Man card. We have our diagonal cut card. And again, if you'd like to see how to do that card, just go to my YouTube video from Monday night. It's also here on Facebook because I did share it. We have our nice fuzzy chocolate cookies. And a quick and easy cookie card. Oh, Patty, you keep losing internet too. Yeah, I don't know. It's something with the heat. And today's plan, consume cocktails, coffee, cookies, and chocolate, and perhaps not in that order. <laughs> Thank you all so much for tuning in. It's time for me to get ready for work. Actually, I am ready for work. I just have to hop on the other computer. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great weekend. I will be back here... Let's see. Next Friday is the 3rd. I still plan on being on, even though I may have a three-day weekend. Um, just keep an eye on Facebook. Also, I can pre-order from the holiday catalog, which I'll be doing that. And as soon as that comes in, I will be doing an unboxing. And I can do that live. So thank you so much. And have a great weekend. Stay safe, everybody. Keep on stamping, stampers. Bye.